Uh, the volt me voltmeter reads one sixth of the output, so 400. Yep, should read fully charged. Basically, the voltmeter is only across one of the six capacitors. And uh, we're going to attempt to crush a soda can and show you that's a whole can. We didn't cheat and pre crush it. There's a string that pulls out a piece of plexiglass to activate the switch. Okay, it's 300. They don't hold a charge very good. Don't know why the capacitors are so leaky. Well, here goes. Well, I guess we didn't do a very good job of crushing that can. Because it just shrunk a little bit. I don't know if we had a capacitor failure or what happened. Because we're dead short and it's showing 85 volts too. So anyways, this string is so tiny I can't see it. I wonder if we could file it, fire it again. Okay, here we go for a second round. I like to charge it up slowly and the uh, 500 ohm current limiting doesn't charge it up slow enough. Okay, here we go round two. It's a shrinking. My ears are hurting. Just threw an aftershock. Okay, here we go for however many rounds this is. Wow. Something's struggling. spark or two or three. There's a soda can. She's getting smaller all the time but uh, it's funny I don't know if that dark spot was there to begin with but it's not exceedingly fast. Well that's a general idea. I guess I just plain need more power. And I guess we'll call this good enough. We uh, didn't totally destroy the soda can as much as I wanted. Um, back to the drawing board to try to figure out how we can get more power. That's all for now.